What's going on YouTube and welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's exercise we're going to be modeling this thumb screw with the knurling grips. Okay, let's hop right to it. First things first, we're going to create a new design. We're going to create a sketch on the top plane. We're going to create a circle and give it a 10 millimeter diameter. Next, we're going to hit the E key to extrude this. And we're going to give it a 10 millimeter dimension. While we're at it, let's go ahead and change the appearance. And of course, I like my chrome. It just pops a lot better, especially on this background. And the background I use is the infinity pool. Okay. Next, we're going to chamfer these edges. So we'll take this edge, this edge, and give it a one millimeter chamfer. All right. Now, we're going to have to do some modeling on this body. However, the issue is, it's very difficult to actually model on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on the front plane. And we're going to project the shape of this body. So I'm going to hit the P key. I'm going to make sure that bodies is checked. Click on the body. And click OK. And now you have an outline. Because we don't currently need the actual body to model, we can turn it off and we'll just use the outline. What we're going to be designing is this cutout right here. Okay. So, what we're going to do is use the line tool and create a simple cutout like so. We're going to dimension it. So, we're going to go from this point to this point and make that about two millimeters. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Okay. Now, we're going to create a line, but we're going to make sure we find the center of this top line, which is a triangle. Once the triangle appears, you know you've basically hit the midpoint. And drag it to the edge of the left line. Okay. We'll do the same thing for the bottom. Find a triangle and drag it to the edge. You can know you should drag it to the edge when you see the X. It's, it should snap in place. Okay. Next, we want to dimension this line from this point to this point and give it a 45 degree angle. I'm going to do the same for the bottom. Okay. Now to fully constrain this sketch, what we're going to do is we're going to dimension just one of these lines. And just hit enter. Now to sh sh excuse me. Now it's fully constrained. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch. We're going to turn back on the body. Okay. We're going to do a revolve. The profile we're going to select is the previous sketch we just created. The axis is going to be the Z axis. Or you could simply, as a matter of fact, I'll just deselect that. The axis you could actually use is the body itself. And click OK. And now you have your shape. OK. Next, we're going to be creating this design right here. The grips for the thumb screw. First things first. To do this, we're going to use the coil tool. I'm going to create this on the top face. I'm going to start in the center, drag it out until it snaps to the second circle, which is about 10 millimeters. Okay, and this is what you're going to see. 
Starting from the top, revolution-wise, we want to make this revolution a 0.4. The height, we're going to give it negative 10 millimeters. We're going to keep the angle at zero. The section, shape, we want it to be triangular internal. Okay? Section position is going to be on center. Section size, we're going to give it a 0.3. And we want the operation to cut. Click OK. And there you have it. OK. Next, we want to mirror that feature. I'm going to click the mirror command and hit features. Select features, excuse me. We want to select the coil we just pre previously made. The mirror plane. We're going to use the YZ plane. And click OK. OK. So there are two ways we can do this to make this design pop and work. We're going to basically do two circular patterns instead of one. If we do one circular pattern, select both uh, features, what will happen is it'll take a long time to do. So we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to select pattern, circular pattern, and we're going to select features. First feature we're going to select is the first coil we previously made. The axis, we're going to just select the center of the body. Now, for quantity, we're going to select 56. Instead of adjust, we're going to click identical on the compute option and click OK. And we're just going to sit and wait for it to do its thing. There you have it. OK. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. Select the mirror command. Make sure features are select. Select on the mirror. The mirror plane. Excuse me. Not mirror. <laughs> pattern. Circular pattern. All right. Now we're good. And the objects we're going to select. Again, make sure features are selected. I'm going to select the mirror. The axis we're going to select is the center body. And we can see it's going to rotate. And make sure 56 is uh, selected. You can choose whatever you want, but I just chose 56. Click OK. Let it do its processing. OK, that took a bit of time, but it worked out nonetheless. OK. Next, on the bottom face, we're going to create a sketch. We're going to create a circle. Give it a 5 millimeter dimension. And we're going to extrude it. Hit the E key. Select that profile. We're going to extrude it 8 millimeters. Click OK. Next, we're going to give, we're actually going to put a chamfer on the edge, about 0.5 millimeters. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and give it a thread. Five millimeters, we're going to go M5 by 0.5. Click OK. And there you have it. A thumb screw with knurling. As always, thanks again for watching this uh, video. There are plenty of choices out there. I'm pretty sure you can watch, but I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this one.
Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.